Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Fizzle Talks, your most trusted news source. So, anyways, today we're going to be talking about fake news. And no, no, this isn't fake news. No, no, this is your most trusted news source. But anyways, we're going to be talking about CNN. And you're probably already familiar with the story somewhat. I wasn't going to do a video on it because I, I heard vaguely about it. And it's kind of a whatever sort of story. Just like... Oh, CNN got offended by a meme. And that's kind of funny, that's kind of amusing in and of itself. The video shared by President Trump to his 33 million personal Twitter followers was apparently first posted by a Reddit user who goes by this online name. That user of Reddit's online message board reacted enthusiastically. Wow, I never expected my meme to be retweeted by the God Emperor himself. I am honored. But others are worried, including the Anti-Defamation League, which surveyed the user's post and found a consistent record of racism, anti-Semitism, and bigotry. This individual traffics in online hatred and at times violent rhetoric. So many of these people, almost all of them that we see, are so poor and they are so black. We don't need white people leading the Democratic Party right now. Kofefe, C-O-F-E-F-E. Good enough. Close, you win. But it, again, is a nonsense word, so we're not sure that its root is actually in Sanskrit, which is what you're probably uh, used to using, so I don't know. Oh no, she gunga didn't. Somehow Trump retweeting a video of him fighting Ed McMahon, but instead it's CNN's logo imposed over Ed McMahon's face. Um, somehow that made it on CNN. Somehow CNN took the bait, and they're urging people not to make dank memes like this, and that it's inciting violence. I, I don't know how that can be misconstrued in that way. Probably isn't. It's probably just them hyping up something, slow news day or something. Um, but anyways, the reason I'm tackling this is because I watched two videos, Razor Fist's video and Bearing's video, and they point out that there's a bit more to it, and this is kind of messed up. They actually went and tracked this guy down, the, the person who made the original video. They found out who he was. Um, first of all, they found out his Reddit handle, um, Han asshole solo i believe it is and then he suspiciously deleted his account removed all of his posts really makes you wonder what that email said huh i imagine it went like this hey fuck stick if you don't apologize i'm gonna release your identity to the entire cnn readership they were saying that there were um anti-semitic remarks and stuff like that on there but from what i can tell they were just memes they were just memes and they're saying, oh, he's playing it off like it's just, it's just a joke. Um, yeah, it's the internet. <laughs> and somehow they, they didn't expect the uh, backlash from this. No, but they went even further. And I'm going to actually read out CNN's statement here. CNN is not publishing Han Asshole Solo's name because he is a private citizen who has issued an extensive statement of apology, showed his remorse by saying he has taken down all his offending posts, and because he said he is not going to repeat this ugly behavior on social media again. In addition, he said his statement could serve as an example to others not to do the same. CNN reserves the right to publish his identity should any of that change. Apparently, CNN also stated that it's not going to publish his name out of concern for his safety. Okay, I, I want you to think about that for a moment. I, I want you to think about that for a moment. They stated they're not going to publish his name out of concern for his safety. And they also said they reserve the right to publish his identity should anything change. And they're claiming this isn't blackmail. That sounds like a direct threat, if you ask me. If you, if you uh, upload offensive content, like content that offends us, CNN, then we can publish your name, even though we acknowledge that it, it could affect your safety, that you could be attacked. And what's their excuse? Oh, right, they, they claimed this meme incites violence to them. So it's like, uh, do unto others, right? Because they're losers. No, no. <laughs> 
you see, on one hand, you got internet shit posters after you, in CNN's case, who, who aren't really violent people. On the other hand, you got people who watch CNN after you. Now, those are real dangerous people. Last night, four or five black teenagers tortured a special needs kid because they're racist and they hate white people and they hate Trump. This kid apparently voiced his opinion and said he liked Trump, so they tortured him. They made him drink toilet water. They tied him up. They cut off his clothes. They dug a knife so far into his scalp that you could see the fatty tissue, the white of his wounds. This is evil, and it's a hate crime. The people who did this deserve the worst the law has to offer. I want them to suffer. I want worse than that. I want a riot. I want random acts of hate. I want to instill fear in the population. But I don't do that because I'm not an animal. I'm not going to riot in the streets. I'm not going to stab the fire hoses that come to put out the fires I put out. I started, sorry, as they did in Ferguson. I'm not going to do that because I'm not a disgusting, savage beast. That's what these children are. That's what these disgusting monsters are. And they are responsible. We might not agree with Reddit or 4chan, but we can agree we have a common enemy here. And until this enemy is defeated, we must join forces in the name of real news. I'm, I'm not going to be happy until CNN goes the way of Gawker. I've actually got family, unfortunately, who watch CNN unironically. You know, CNN has taken from me. It's taken those I love from me, you know. And I won't rest until we've won this war. This war on fake news. But yeah, as... As you can guess, this has kind of backfired. There's a lot of dank memes now uh, after CNN said, oh, we, we advise other people don't do the same. Yeah, that you're kind of asking for it, buddies. In fact, I'm going to make my own dank memes here. I'm going to show you some of my dank memes. Killing is making a choice. Where are they? Choose between one life or the other. Your friend, the district attorney, or his blushing bride to be. <laughs> Nothing! Nothing to threaten me with! Nothing to do with all your strength! But anyways guys, I, I believe that's all for today. Stay tuned for, for more amazing news from yours truly, Fizzle Talks. And remember kids, stay salty. The why CNN constantly like, Russia this, Russia that? Because it's ratings. Because it's ratings? Our ratings are incredible right now. But honestly, you'd you think the whole Russia shit is just like bullshit. Could be bullshit. I mean, we, it's mostly bullshit right now. Like, we don't have any big giant proof.